This is a demonstration of how to balance a chemical equation. The equation we're going to balance in this example is the complete oxidation of butanol with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. We'll start by writing the equation, which is C4H9OH plus O2 combined to form CO2 and water. Since this question asks us to balance the equation for one mole, we'll start by putting a one in front of the butanol, and now the challenge is to figure out how many moles of the other parts of this equation are required. How many moles of oxygen, CO2, and water are required to balance this equation? Since there are three different types of atoms in this, in this equation, we're gonna do this in three steps, one time per each atom. We'll start with carbon, and with carbon we are going to add CO2, carbon dioxide, to the product or right side of the equation to account for all of the carbon present in the reactants, which in this case is the butanol. Second, we'll do the same thing for hydrogen. We're going to add water or H2O to the product or right side of the equation to account for all of the hydrogen present in the reactant. Finally, we're gonna balance for oxygen, but we're gonna go in the opposite direction for oxygen. For both carbon and hydrogen, we looked at the amount of, of the atoms or present in the reactants and made up for them in the products. Since now we've added a whole bunch of oxygen to the products in the form of CO2 and water, we now need to add molecular oxygen to the reactant side to make to account for all that additional oxygen. So we we're gonna add oxygen to the left or the reactant side of the equation to make the amount of oxygen, molecular uh, oxygen atoms present in the reactants equal to the amount we now have in the products. Now with this background, we can go ahead and clear the screen and get started. To keep track of what we're doing, I'll split the screen into two sides. We'll look at the reactants on one side and the products on the other. First, we'll start with carbon. There are four atoms of carbon per molecule of butanol. So we need to figure out how much carbon dioxide to add since there is one atom of carbon per molecule of carbon dioxide. We need to add four molecules or moles of carbon dioxide to get the four moles of carbon. Four times one equals four. So if we put a four in front of the carbon dioxide, we have now balanced this equation for carbon. Next, do the same thing for hydrogen. Count them, there's nine plus one for a total of 10 hydrogen atoms in butanol. Since there are two atoms of hydrogen per molecule of water, we need to have 10, so five times two, five molecules, two atoms per molecule, will give us the 10 moles of hydrogen. So if we add five in front of the water, we have now balanced this equation for hydrogen. Finally, we'll balance for oxygen, but we'll start on the product side. There is one oxygen atom per molecule of water and two oxygen atoms per molecule of CO2. One atom times five molecules of water and two atoms times four molecules of CO2. Combine these, five plus eight equals 13. So we have 13 atoms or moles of oxygen on the product side. Now come over to the reactants. Since there is one atom of oxygen in the butanol, we need 12 additional atoms of oxygen to balance this equation. Since there are two atoms of oxygen per molecule of molecular oxygen, we can do six times two to get the total of 12 atoms of oxygen required to balance this equation. 
So if we add a six to the final position in this, in this equation, we've now balanced the equation. And the final answer is one C4H9OH plus six O2s combined to form four CO2s and five H2Os.